Football Manager 2018. We are at PFK Montana and Bulgaria for our GM challenge and return to glory save. So <clears throat> we've made it to the end of our season. And for some odd reason, we actually have a chance at Europe. I, I, I guess we are in the European places playoff quarterfinal first leg. <clears throat> I don't know how we were on the loser side of the the season, right? Uh, they break up their season into uh, the top six go into the champions <clears throat> portion, which play for European spots. And then a bottom half, which is a relegation bit that breaks into two. So the bottom eight break into two groups of four and, and fight bravely against relegation. So we were second place in our group of four um, and third place overall, I believe, for the relegation groups. Um, which means we're playing first place from the other relegation group, and then first place of our relegation group is playing second place of, you know, the other one. So first and second cross. Um, oddly enough, um, well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's a home and home. Uh, we get, it looks like, home the first time for the first match, and they get home the second, which I think is is an advantage, to be honest. But um, I like to start away first and home and home, get some hopefully away goals and know what you have to do at home. So we're just going to jump into this. Um, you've seen everything up to this point. Um, that's going to be an issue. First of all, he can't play against his parent club. So let's, I guess that's going to be Nedelchev. Um, <clears throat> Kolev is suspended. Uh, yellow card limit. So we'll put Nichev in there, even though we're not <clears throat> a fan of that. Um, and Itov is suspended, so we'll put Jordanov in. We actually do have a good sub there. Um, we'll put Yachev in the subs there. Do I, I don't think I really have a defensive left down there anywhere. Uh, we put Minkoff in. Here, I guess. He's a defensive center and right. I don't really have a left, but I mean we have we have two of them. Just one of them's not there. Um and then um I don't really have another another good defense. Oh, right, defensive right left. We can put we can actually we do have one. He's just really bad. Um, but we'll put him in. We'll put him in. So there we go. So we've got right, left, right, left, center. Okay, so I think I think we've got all the gaps filled. Um, I don't know that they're good fills, but let's go ahead and see what's going on. Um, yeah, interesting. Did I have the speakers turned off? I do. Give me a second here. I want a little bit of sound for me. Um, we'll encourage them. That didn't seem to work. Jordanov seemed motivated. Well, as long as Jordanov's motivated. Um, biggest of the season... Uh, I didn't make it abundantly clear. I don't think it's actually going to matter. Um, in theory, we should win, beat, win, beat them, right? I mean, this... Well, I, I don't know about in theory. In theory, I guess technically they're ranked higher, right? That's why we're playing them. Um, and in fact, they ended with more points total over the over the whole season as well, not only winning their group, but just in general. So they would be, I guess, the seventh ranked team total out of the league, whereas we would be the ninth ranked. Um, if we were to look at a combined setup. Last season we finished third, so a little bit of a dip, but I think we overachieved last season. I think this is probably a more realistic um, expectation. Um, we seem to be playing pretty well so far. Five shots, only one on target, but they haven't had any on target. We did have a half chance. Both of us are shooting from long range, almost exclusively. Um, yeah. Jordanov went in high, and he definitely did. Can't argue that one. Yep. So uh, we're giving him a penalty shot, because that's what we do. Um, we self-destruct. But he attacked the ball. So... I'm going to give him a pass because he did what I asked them to do, which is attack the ball. Um, he did it in a stupid way, but but he made the attempt. 
And again, our, I, I don't know what this sideways leap is where they don't actually move anywhere sideways. They just rotate in spot and then hit the ground. Uh, again, I, I really, really think they need to check their physics engine. Or their animation. I mean, it's probably more an animation issue than it is the physics engine. The, the physics engine does what it's told to do, you know. It has an input, you know, as far as force and vectors and all that sort of stuff. And then the animation just doesn't show it very accurately, would be my guess. Oh! Oh, we almost put that in. That was almost an own goal. Living dangerously here. Um, I mean, essentially we're going to lose this, but not because they're playing well because we're playing badly or because we're playing carelessly because we're playing stupidly um, they've had two clear-cut chances now one of which they scored on uh, let's see if we can and Jordanov just lets Wesley have it so he gave up on that aggressive we were really off sides he didn't affect play though so I guess they're going to give it to us again I, I never really know it seems like they call him back for me um, but they don't call him back for them and we've got Oh, well, yeah, yeah, we had at least two people off. But it wasn't a pass, it was a shot, and they weren't in any in the way. Um, like I said, it seems to be a crapshoot on whether they call those back against me. Um, I've, I've never seen the computer get called back for it. But it's nice for to work properly once for us. Ooh, Sergey almost puts that one in. They're feeling their oats now. They're getting a little aggressive, picking things up. Botev had shot up to like nine shots to our five, but we got a couple there, and they were decent. One clear-cut chance, which led to our goal, obviously. Um, and the other was a half chance that was not on target, but was at least a half chance, so we're doing okay. Um, hmm... That didn't work. That's okay. Uh, has anybody been garbage? Uh, Nitchev, but I say don't, we don't, he, he is the sub. Um, which is, again, you know, we put him in and then we remember why we don't have him in. But he's always complaining. To be fair, though, it's never come as far as me. Um, I have the captain talk to him and he always drops it. There we go, Sergey. Look at that. Attack the ball. Didn't kill in stupidly. Beautifully done. Coco feeds it up to Orichev. Orichev is there. We got people streaming in. He takes the shot himself, but Yordanov is there to, to gather it up to keep the pressure on. Uh, Orichev was unable to get ahead on it. Munin unable to do anything with it. He just runs past his guy. And now they get a counterattack going the other way. And we just walk up next to him, but don't actually make an attempt at the ball. And we give up an attack on the... Oh, my gosh. That, that sums up our season right there, I think, right? Um, we don't pay attention, so clearly had better options to score that goal three of them um, then we don't do anything there we don't do anything there and we just let him run through we actually got a foot on it and we just fed it back to him like oh here here mate you lost this uh, actively helped him out everybody else just kind of oh let's let's not tackle um, that, that's it right there uh, I think that's our season in a nutshell all right Coco's got it can we can we make an attack He's running down the side. He hasn't passed into the middle like we've seen in the past. He is running in a little bit. He's supposed to be inside. He's supposed to be on the other side, too, as well. Sergey, did that one sneak in? I, it bounced off one of their players, I think. Must have been Sirkan. But again, put the ball on net. Good things happen. So Coco dribbles in. Uh, never. He just hangs on to it for way too long. Sergey takes a shot. It bounces around. Coco should have passed that. I don't know what he was trying to do there. He had all sorts of guys. Apparently, our thing this season is ignore the guys open in front of the net and try to do something yourself. Apparently, we're just going to be selfish. We'd rather lose the game than give up a shot. Give up a bad shot for a good shot. Nietzsche's down to a 6-3. Was he there before? Nerochev's down. Again, another one that's we're seeing why we don't start him. No matter what the stats are sometimes, guys, players are just not... The numbers are not always the right numbers. It doesn't matter how many numbers there are. Normally we see it with strikers, right? We see guys with spec... Mm, just let him run past. Um, 
normally I see it with strikers. We see guys, strikers with spectacular numbers, but they never add up to goals or chances or assists or anything. They're just big numbers. And then and then the players, you know, get upset when you let him go because, hey, he had a lot of stars next to his name. Yordanov just mugs him. Ilyev's got it. Despite all that, we're still in this game. It's 2-2 two, two all. Ilyev, uh, speaking of strikers, although his have added up to numbers, let's be honest. He's, he's a damn near a goal a game this season for us. Um, doesn't do much with that one, though. He does have our, 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 the goal that we scored. And again, we, we just let them have it. We just sit back. We don't do anything. Whoever this is is just kind of lollygagging in the middle, yording off, not trying for anything. Just the ball's going all around him, and he's just, eh, out for a Sunday drive. And uh, we fed it into a little early cross, not quite sure why. Um, we made a dangerous early cross when the lane was open to run. I don't know why I bother telling them to clear it to the flanks if they just feed it right back in instantly again. Or they dribble it in until they lose it, one of the two. Um, which is fine for Coco on, on the side he's supposed to be on. I mean, that's, that's his job, but... All right. Well, are we going to lose this one an extra time? No, Munin charges, gets on it. Sergei backs up, though, but Munin manages to control the header. Kristoff, Sergei gets run over, but at least he's there. Kristoff manages to intercept that. Ilyev takes the shot. Oh, my gosh. That was a good shot. Just went wide right. But, but I have to applaud the attempt. That was well done. Um, clearly going into their house with a draw and them having two away goals is not ideal. Um, I mean, we really have to consider this a loss, even if it, even if it finishes on a draw. Nedelchev, Hristev, Koko. If we can squeeze a goal here. Ilyev, oh, how did you miss that, Ilyev? It rolled right in front of you. Wide open goal, and he didn't even, oh, he didn't even make an attempt. Didn't, and now they can, look at all the guys they got there. I don't know how they missed that. Oh, Ilyev, buddy, you let us down at the end. And that's game. So um, it's not a loss on the books, but it's a loss in reality. Uh, we've given up two away goals. Um, they did well. They didn't do well. Do you see well in there? I don't. I'm going to say they... No? Not happy. I was looking for the, you know, despite the result, I'm not happy with your performance, right? Because it was a draw, a draw against, in theory, a better team. But that was clearly a match. I'm not going to praise him. Um, he didn't play very well. He, he had a goal. They gave him an 8-3. He missed one easy goal as the ball just rolled through him and then was wide on a couple other sitters. Um, well, chances. I won't say sitters. Um, Montana were let off the hook. It's the other way around, buddy. Our play lets you off the hook. That should have been a win. Don't get cocky there. I say, you didn't win. It wasn't a draw because of your excellent. It was a draw because of our incompetence. All right. <clears throat> so, league table right now. Right here. So, it looks like Piran and Locomotive are going to go down. Oh, it went back. Interesting. <clears throat> I just assumed that the bottom two on each were going to be relegated, but that would be four players, four teams. So it doesn't. The top four probably play for this spot, and that's why they were highlighted blue. And then when we come together, whoever the bottom two are, I said we weren't, we didn't play through it last season, so I wasn't sure how it worked. We were kind of guessing from looking on the outside, but I bet you that's what happens. The four go into their two groups. Whoever comes out of those with the two worst records, regardless of group, ends up being relegated. And then the top two of each group go into this playoff. And I don't know if the playoff continues and they work their way down to just one team that gets this European chance. <clears throat> that would make sense. Uh, you know, kind of a loser's bracket way in. But again... We, we, we haven't seen it before. <clears throat> All right. Let's get up to the lay leg of this thing. 
Why is... Okay, Bulgarian First League. Why is Ludogratz playing Pirin? Oh, it's, like, it's in the cup. It's in the cup. I was like, I was so confused. So Pirin's had a horrible season, but they've, they've made it to the cup. Okay. Good for them. Cup championship. Antonov, let's see, does he take any of them? This is this is the second time he's had three. Fine, I don't care. Go home, buddy. All right, let's take a look at our, our roster now. How many people do we... And nobody's suspended anymore. So, um, Orichev and Itov there. Are we going to play? Apparently not. I think Shorty wanted to and Copper didn't. I think that's what happened there. If you heard the little, the little bit of growling. Um, I think we're okay there. Nietzschev comes back out. Uh, Kolev goes in. Nedelchev comes out. Oh, he's still ineligible because it's still his team. That's, that's annoying. So we have to live with Nedelchev for now. Well, do we want to put Minkov in instead? Yes, I'm going to put Minkov in. We'll leave Nedelchev on the bench there. Um, we'll go and put Yordanov on the bench. Uh, how's Munin been playing? 6'6", six, 6'4", six, six, for Minkov. Guys, it's not looking good. How is um how is Ahmed? You know what? I'm I'm gonna put Ahmed in. Um, I really had high hopes for him when we signed him. I really thought he was gonna be good for us. Um, and it just never really got much out of him. But uh, but let's put him in. I, I like him. I I think we play this with whatever available players that I like are left. Um, Sergey's in. Do we want to play Sergey? Um, Kristoff's in. Coco's been terrible lately too. Well, they say they say seven five. La really? Did anybody else see a seven five out of him last season? I or last game? I certainly didn't. Um, I'm kind of thinking we go Petkov. Well, first of all, he needs to definitely be on the bench. I'm going to go Petkov for this one. We're not going to go inside forward though. We'll just go winger, but we'll put him on attack. Um, I'm going to put Sergey on attack too. Uh. No, maybe we put Kristov on attack. Let's do that. Something along those lines. And we make Kolev. Kolev's already a wing back. He's a full back. We leave him there. Something along those. Oh, he's still an automatic. I hate automatic. Um, let's put him on box to box. And hit continue. He's good defensively. I mean, he can he can play center defense for us if that's what we want. I can play wing for us if that's what we want. He can do it all. And he's pretty decent at it. Uh, leading league appearance maker. Okay, good for Mihov. Um, the existing record is 205. We're, okay, so not this season. Um, Ilyev, again, we, we've the games continue on, but he's only got, excuse me, one goal in like the last four or five matches. Um, blames defensive woes on mistakes. I would agree with that. I would I would blame it on laxity, just not giving a shit. That's that's what I would blame it on. Pure indifference. Oh, I thought I clicked that. Apparently, uh, the mouse clicked. I heard it, but uh, apparently it didn't. Okay, so I think we're finally <laughs> at the end of the season. Let's get this last game played here and see what happens. Uh, unless, of course, we win it, in which case we continue on, right? I mean, that's always a possibility. Let's not let's not count ourselves out yet. Uh, Nedelchev, uh, yep, okay, that's fine. Match preview. Team selection. I'm going to go attacking. We're going to start out attacking. Uh, I think that's probably a mistake, but I want to go aggressive early. And see if we can make something happen. See if we can we can force a mistake. Um, 
We've already given up. How dare you say we're the underdog just because they have a better record and they played us under the table last game. How dare you? And it's at their house. You can't expect me to win that type of match. All right. Let's see what goes on here. Nice little passing. Very consistent and robotic and led nowhere. Ilyev's got this one. This is kind of a long opening kickoff highlight, isn't it? Do we score on this one? No. No, we don't. Everybody charges four. Now we're getting getting people back. We've done a good job there. Mihov just takes it away. That's why he's the leading appearance leader right there, right? Mihov up to Huristov. Or Ilyev, I'm sorry. Oh, and we couldn't get it back to him because he's so far off sides and doesn't even make an attempt to get back on sides. Would have been nice if he would have made the attempt. That would have been a goal, I think. Itov has picked up a knock, but he's an Iron Man. We're going to leave him in. Itov's a stud. He doesn't go anywhere if we can... We can leave him. Come on, Ilyev. Or just jog back to watch him take it. One of the two. What is going on? I, I, nobody apparently drives to these, which is interesting. Because we have parking lots in all of them. All right? I mean, we got... Look, we've got, a, we've got gated entrance, but... Other than an ambulance, maybe? Um, there's nobody in that parking lot? Okay. Makes as much sense as anything. Oh, there we go. Itov wasn't even looking and he made, a, he made an interception. Briefly. We didn't control it or anything, but... There we go. Kolev feeds that up to Ilyev. Who, um... That's a two-footed ledge? Okay. I'm not sure I saw that. I mean, he went into him hard, obviously, but... Oh, that was... He got hosed. That, that's not... Let's, let's see it again. Uh, well, I guess that last little bit was what they were calling. I mean, he went in to headbutt him, which was odd. Maybe he just lost his balance and he kind of went down. And then he went up and then he did an instant this. Which, again, I don't think is physically possible. Um, but they gave it to him. So I say we stay on attacking. Um... I'm not sure how they covered down. Let's let's see if we can find their formation now. Okay. So they pulled somebody back. I, I didn't look to see what they were playing before. So they've got a, a four, two, three right now. And we're still Still just about giving up a goal. Ilyev, there you go. You're charging forward. You got this, and there's a man charging across. Are you going to hit the cross? No, no, you're going to selfishly take the shot because that's what we do. We don't ever pass the ball to get a goal. That would be terrible. Don't do it. There we go. Good job, Kolev. Kolev's playing well. That's the second kind of big interception I've seen him make back there. He went in late. It wasn't two-footed. Just a yellow. Nope. Nope. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So, the question is, what do we do here? He just kind of scissored him. I don't know. All right. Whoops. We got to wait for it. No, apparently we don't. Apparently it will continue on in this case without us making our, our sub. Okay. I think what we do is we drop these guys back here. We play three across the middle. We drop him back a little bit to help provide some cover. He stays box to box, so he will go back and forth. We attack on the wings. We attack up front. And we go for it. There's going to be more space, right? Because there's two fewer players on the, on the field right now. So there should be some room to move. Despite us playing a man up for that Mitch, we still only have 30% possession. There we go, Ilyev. 
Oh, we missed it. Sergey. Oh, we got lucky there. Look what happens when you pass to open people. Things happen. Oh, they gave it to him as an own goal. Oh, I think that was harsh. I think that was harsh. Let's see it. Let's see if, if it was, in fact, an own goal. Sergey beats Zindeliev, who heads it over, hits once off the crossbar. Sergey hits it. I didn't see the ball deflect. I mean, it does look like it hit him, but it doesn't look like it changed direction when it hit him, which means it was on goal in the first place. I don't know. Maybe they're reading intent because the AI knows what the intent was, and I don't. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be a shot. Maybe he was trying to pass it back across. And even if it was a bad pass, it was still a pass and not a shot, so they considered it an own goal. It's hard to tell. And the AI makes decisions based on what the AI knows, not on what's visible. And they come back and score instantly. We got essentially four people all guarding this space, and yet nobody felt the need to guard that guy in that space. It was a good pass. Um, well, good vision to see it. And again, this is what happens when you make passes. See, we went past this guy. We had three people gathered around him, which, okay, I guess. Four people gathered around him. I'm assuming that was probably our winger, not one of our defensive players. Again, positioning. That's why they're not supposed to be close marking, right? Specifically, they're supposed to stay in their position and guard their zones, not man marking. I want essentially a zonal marking, um, but that's not what's happening. They all gather around him anyway. All right, Ilya, can we strike back? Let's make this an exciting match. If we can get a draw in which we score three goals, that would give it to us on away goals, right? Oh, there we go. Why didn't you attack that, Ilya? It just rolled in front of you, and there was nobody... Th oh, I don't know what happened there. Again, the ghost thing. Two players just somehow roll through each other. Okay. Come on, let's get something happening here. I'm going to demand more. No, no. No, I'm not, because I can drag it, but I can't actually click it. There we go. There we go. What a game. I mean, it's going to give me a heart attack, but what a game. Uh, what did we have here before? Action zones, maybe? I don't remember. Clearly, it wasn't that important. Um... Still 34% possession. With short passes on, right? Pretty sure, unless we took it off. Look at that, shorter passing, clear ball to flanks, close down less. We're not seeing that, they're closing down every bit as much. Every single person closes down on one guy and ignores everybody else. Um, Well, I'm going to turn off shorter passing because they're not paying any attention to it anyway. I'm going to knock the tempo back down to normal. I'm going to get rid of clear to flanks because they're not doing that either. Um, so there's no point in having that. I'm going to turn down. I'm just going to go normal because they're ignoring all of my instructions anyway. So why why confuse things by having them in? I'm going to knock us back down to standard maybe. And we'll hit OK. All right, let's see if Coco can save us once again. And we're going to try that. I'm interested. I need to look to see what our teamwork is because it's becoming increasingly apparent that we're not actually paying any attention to the tactical instructions that we put in, which is a teamwork issue, right? That's how well they actually um, obey the directions they're given. Um, to the point, I mean, it's terrible. We're not seeing any of that this game. I mean, we're not seeing them pay attention to any of them. Uh, you know, loosely shape wise, I guess. But they just kind of run around and do what they want. Regardless, we picked up another yellow. Fifteen shots. We're still 35% possession. It jumped to 36 as soon as I said that. But I mean, it's kind of coming up. But they can play for the they can play for the draw here. They don't they don't have to push. As things stand now, they win. They win on two draws. And they hustle to the ball. 
There we go. Let's see. And again, two people clustered around him. Okay, we got people in the middle like we're supposed to be. Neither of them felt like heading it, but there were guys there. Supposedly, Mihoff's playing a 7 1. So, yay him. And Sergey a 7 7. It's not leading to anything. I mean, I guess he did have the goal. I mean, they took it away from him, but. So we saw that. There we go. Um, Ilya, you gotta, you gotta at least make an attempt, buddy. You can't just go, eh, he missed a little bit, so I, I can't be bothered. Oh my gosh, this is the way our season goes, guys. This is, this is it in, I say, this is it in a nutshell, these two games. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Both from the refs. <laughs> Although I, there we go. Good things happen, put the ball in the net. Um, and our team. But you know what? This is realistically, this is where we should be with our talent level in this league. This is about where we should finish. So I'm frustrated, but that frustration is based on the fact that we played better last year. Um, and some of this stuff, just the numbers don't really show it. I don't believe. Um, I don't think we have a huge problem with teamwork. Um, I don't think our passing is terrible. And yet we apparently can't make a pass even with short passing on. Uh, and maybe partly that's just the higher tempo, right? But we have decent decision-making, which is why we went with that. Um, our passing and our decision-making were supposed to be our, 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 I'm sorry, first touch and decision-making were supposed to be strengths of this team this season, um, which is why we felt we could get away with that, although apparently not so much. Uh, made the pass, got a chance. And that's the whistle. So we go down 2-1 away. Uh, but like I say, a draw would have lost it for us anyway. So we go to the dressing room. Uh, their efforts were not excellent. They were they were terrible. Um, I can fault you. It was not a pleasing performance. Um, it wasn't good enough. That That's it. And you played a 6-4, buddy. If the guys have played 7s seven and 7-1s seven accepted that, then, you know, maybe you should understand that. All right, so... That is it. We are defeat in our Liga places, yada, yada, yada. He's out for two to three days. Kolev is suspended. Uh, let's go ahead and issue a warning. Uh, confirm. We're not going to appeal it. It was... It wasn't physically possible, but it did happen. So, he accepted his warning. Let's hit continue. That should be the end of our season here. Okay. I don't think it's going to give us... Let's let's check. <laughs> I keep thinking we're at the end of the season and it keeps going on. No, no. I mean, we played what? Well, I guess just two two games after that. Um, just seems like there's always another phase. Dimitrov, board sets, initial budgets. Now, transfer budget. That's a good budget. This essentially completes our victory condition, right? Uh, this means that we're going to spend three seasons up top, Right, that that was our goal. This was that was our second season. We didn't get relegated, so we are back for a third season. So that's our victory. Uh, we created our three. You know, we we made sure that the team is up for three seasons in the top, which is the record. They've never they've never been up. You know, in our story, when our you know their their three seasons at the Parva Liga, our story was we were the player there. We were a player there during that period, and we have recreated that. We have got the team back up to the top for three seasons. So. Um, that's the end. However, let's look at finances really fast. We have a lot of money here. We've done very well. At some point, we're going to get whatever reward we get for this. Um, maybe. I'm going to keep continuing here. How long have we been talking? Too long, but I think this is the wrap-up for the, for the season here. So I'm going to go a little bit longer on this one. Um, and we're, gonna, we're just going to kind of roll through here real quick. I'm interested what the general manager is going to do with all that money. He hasn't done anything with the money we've had so far. Let's be fair. He's had money that he hasn't spent. Um, Antonov looks like he's going to go somewhere. So I'm, I'm looking to see what kind of the end of the season here. We're just kind of clicking through as fast as I can. Now we're not interested in... He still has got a spot. They keep saying he's going to be dropped, but um, uh, let's go back. Who, who won the treble? Ludogrets, they won everything. 
Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. The interesting thing about the Parva League is it looks like there's a couple teams that are okay and everybody else is pretty equally garbage. And depending on injuries and motivation, anybody in kind of the bottom 10 could come or go any season. And then, you know, you've just got like Ludogrets running for the championship every season with one or two other players that are good enough to crush everybody else, but not really good enough to challenge Ludogrets. Um, so, you know, it, it's definitely kind of luck of the draw. Like I say, we were third last season um, with the worst team. And this season we struggled to end up in ninth or wherever, wherever it was we ultimately ended up in. We have not actually sure why we're still training at this point, but other than just to rack up the injuries. Player called up for Euro. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to vacation till the end of June, and then we'll come back and see what they've told us at that point. Go on vacation. Uh, choose June 30th set. That should be the end of the season there, so I'll be back in a minute. 